and today I will try to teach you about the link L I and Q. So basically this is language integrated query. So we will write a very small line of code today. Uh, in the console and the same code you can run in any platform like on Windows or anywhere. So we have an array. Integer array and we have few value within this. And we are creating an object of I enumerable and we say score query. And we are doing the query on this array. So we can write with link from score. So this one is a, any name you can give like in scores. So this one is your collection and you can give any name. This is kind of a column that you say where a score is greater than 80. So apply this filter and then select a score. So if you run this query on this collection, then you will get the output of 97, 92 and 81 because score is greater than 80. So we will miss this 60. If we try to run this one, let's see what happened. As we had done the comment over here, the output is 97, 92 and 81. So in this scenario, we are able to do the query on array. And sometime if you not able to understand what to do, then you can use the word bar. And this one will also have a same thing. So what does it now? We have this one. In this time, when compiler do the compilation, it will strictly create the object of this type. But when we say bhar, this time our compiler will use its own intelligence to know that what will be the written type of this query and it will create the that type of object for this one. So as you know, we have a class student, we have few property and we have few. Now with that, what I want to do, I want to create some dummy data so that we can do a little bit bigger query on the top of that two class. So what I'm going, going to do, I had created the object of student of type list, which have a type student. Within that, we are creating the few dummy data. So the number of new you will find, the number of item will be exist within this student's collection. So we had a few collection of student and we have few collection of teacher. And in all the classes, we have a first name, last name, ID and city. And you can see in this also, we have a first name, last name, ID, city and score, etc. Right? Student have one more value, that is scores. Now what we are trying to do, we will try to do query. So here we have a bar option because uh, as the query grows, we don't know what output we, we are going to get it. But this time what we are doing, we have a one query over here. Then we are doing the concatenation that is joining with two arrays or we can say two list. So this one will return one value and this one will return one value and we are doing the join within that. So what we are doing, select a student in a student where student.city is equal to Seattle. So select the student last name. If you want to select first name also, you can do kind of this operation and you will say student, uh, student dot first name. So this will return now exactly one more line with that. 
similar thing we can do select. So this is if you try to read with a SQL syntax, this is kind of select. But here we are providing a query first and then we are selecting the data. So from teacher in teachers where teacher dot city equals this. Basically, if you remember your for each loop, what we do? We get the one item of this collection. So this is something we get one ta object type of this collection and we apply the where query and other things that you know, like uh, there are so many classes. So these are the class and in this one also we can add first name. As I had copied this sample from the external website, so they have a convention to print last name first. Which in Nepal we generally do the print first name, but that is not a matter now. What we are doing, we are printing all the names that qualify this condition. So this time if we run, we will get two data. And that is if you want to verify, you can read the data. But as it is coming with the query, I hope it's um, as you see. In the teacher, we have only one teacher who is stay in Seattle. And in the student, what we have? Uh, this one is different city. This one is different city, Seattle. And like this. If I want to add one more student with the Seattle, what will happen? Let's check it. So this time we'll just change, change the name. And let's keep everything same. So as expected, we get two names which teacher is in Seattle. So our query is working perfectly. Now in place of this hard code data, you may have your data from database in the list. 